What's up guys, this is SciFit coming back at you with another uh, uh, pickups video. Actually, this one's going to be a non-turbo related pickups video finally. Uh, for those who wanted to see what I've been uh, kind of picking up here and there that is non-turbo related. Uh, I actually have been stocking up on some other stuff, been trying to um, uh, fill some holes in my Genesis, Super Nintendo, and uh, Saturn stuff. Uh, and I think I did a pretty good job this month, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look here. So I um, went to a... Uh, uh, game store and was able to pick up a couple of titles that they had like really cheap uh, I was uh, went ahead and picked up Alex Kidd and High Tech World which I didn't have uh, this one is complete with manual and everything and I also picked up Time Soldiers uh, complete with manual uh, and everything's both titles I did not have for the collection and very very happy to have uh, I got this one I believe for $6.99 and this one was I think $9.99 so uh, that those prices were pretty fair uh, for a game store. Um, I hit up a swap meet and I was able to finally pick up a game that I've been wanting to pick up forever. This is a game that I remember picking up uh, back in the early Genesis days and uh, I guess now it's considered a rare title and that is uh, Herzog's Y. And I was able to pick this up uh, complete. Uh, this game has climbed up in price and it's very very hard to find. That was the first time I've seen it in the wild in like forever. Um, and I was able to get this for, I believe, 20 bucks. Uh, I think now it's retailing for about 40 to 45 in this condition. And uh, very, very happy to have this game. If you've never played this game, it's really, really cool. It's a very, very great title. Uh, definitely, if you have a second player, definitely, uh, you know, it's a good, great game to play. Um, you'll definitely like that one. Uh, a friend of mine uh, was at the swap meet and he found a uh, CDI game. This is Sandy's Circus Adventures. And these are these, like, bigger box games. Basically, you just push this little button here, and uh, it opens up the uh, game here. So, we'll give this one a shot, see what it is, and uh, looks like it may be just like a coloring game or something. It looks like it has built-in games, coloring, and make a movie. So, let's see what kind of movie we can make with this. <laughs> so, thanks uh, to rob 78 for that. Uh, let's have a look, see here. Also, at the swap meet, I uh, was able to pick up a Sega IR7000 communicator. This is like a little personal PDA that Sega released back in the late 90s, I think. Yeah, before cell phones had all these features and uh, it works great, uh, it's in good condition, works perfect and uh, yeah, so this was I think $7, uh, I think these run for like 25 30 bucks. so that was a pretty neat little pickup. And let's see here, I uh, did a really cool trade with a um, Facebook uh, gentleman and I uh, was able to trade, a, I'll put a link to his video at the bottom if he does a, a pickup video for it. But I was I traded a turbo a turbo game and I was able to get uh, Donkey Kong 3 um, since I didn't have it so um, it just arrived the other day so can't wait to play this one I actually never played this one so glad to have that one uh, another swap meet pickup picked up a uh, Cybernator I think I got this one for eight bucks had never played the game before um, it's actually pretty fun and it kind of reminds me of a little bit of like Hagani so uh, it's kind of cool so definitely happy to have that one into the collection. And at a thrift store, pick up a Natsumi game. I never even knew they actually made a wrestling game. This is Natsumi Championship Wrestling. Uh, played a couple, a couple of rounds of this game, and that's actually pretty fun. So kind of cool to have that. And this one was, uh, I believe, uh, four dollars, and then it was like half price, so it was like two bucks. So it was one of those little church thrift stores. Uh, found out about a new game store, and uh, the guy actually is a pretty cool dude. Uh, I took in a bunch of stuff that I just didn't really want to deal with selling on eBay. Um, I probably could have got a little bit more um, selling it on eBay, but you know, when you sell on eBay, you run the risk of getting ripped off, you know, this, this, and that. So, like, especially with disc based stuff, I don't like to sell disc based stuff because, you know, your opinion on what is a good condition game to somebody else might be totally off. And uh, you just always get scammed with stuff like that. So, uh, I took it over there and he gave me a very, very fair deal. I think I traded in a couple of GameCube games and a 3DO. Uh, that just was really heavy, didn't really want to bother shipping it, so, and uh, he let me trade it in for all this stuff that I got here, so, uh, two Super Nintendo games I was able to pick up, uh, I got uh, Breath of Fire, and uh, I got Ease 3, and these three games, uh, I got a Double Hawk, which I've never heard of, actually, uh, if you look in the front, it's a total ripoff of uh, Rambo and, uh, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's just kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure if, I mean, this, I'm assuming this is an NTSC title, uh, and uh, it's complete, and the manual is actually sideways, which usually they're kind of this way, 
um, so that's kind of different. So, but it's probably like a later release. Um, it's probably a multiple region release because I do show here it's in English and like Fran like French. Um, it's a 1990 release, so it probably is like a later release, and it looks kind of cool. Kind of looks reminiscent to like Rambo 3, like the side scrolling, like shooting, uh, which is kind of cool. So uh, can't wait to play and try this out. This is Double Hawk, and I was able to pick up these two games that I. Uh, been looking for for a while and he had them and I was able to get these in the trade as well uh, that was uh, Valis 3 and Shining Force which uh, I'm pretty sure most of you already know what this is so happy to have those titles in the collection and I got a couple of uh, nice scores here actually um, some dude I've been trading with the locally actually hit me up and said he had a couple of Saturn games he had come across and want to know if I wanted them so I said sure uh, I believe I paid 20 bucks for these titles and it was he hooked it up because these are kind of cool titles actually. Uh, the first one is a uh, uh, Virtual Fighter, which is not super rare, but it's still kind of neat to have. One of the first Polygon shoot, uh, fighting games. Then there is a uh, Pocket Fighter, Capcom Pocket Fighter. A uh, loose copy of uh, Tetris Plus. And the gem of the bunch actually is a uh, Bubble Symphony. And actually, this game is actually going for about forty dollars. So, uh, to get all these games for only 20 bucks, I mean, he hooked it up, so I thought it was really, really cool. Um, so, shout out to him as well. He's watching this video. Thank you. Um, and I got a couple of uh, eBay swipes here. Actually, one's an eBay swipe, and wasn't one, another one is a swipe out of a game store. <laughs> um, a lot of you might not know this, but uh, Double Dragon for the Atari Lynx is actually a pretty rare title. It's, you know, one of the, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 rarest titles on the system. And uh, this one popped up on eBay, dirt cheap. I uh, had to jump on this. It's completely sealed. I have it in a little plastic wrapper, but this is sealed and it's in really great shape. The box isn't crushed or anything. And um, I had a no over better offer. I submitted the offer, they took it, and I was able to pick Double Dragon up sealed. Uh, this game can go anywhere from like two to 200 bucks to like 275. And that's usually just with the box in the game and the manual. Sealed, I'm not, I've never seen one sealed before, so who knows what this might go for to a linked collector. Um, but uh, loose ones will tend to go for about 75 to 100 bucks. Uh, with manual, about you know 150. And like I said, with the box, it could go anywhere from like 200 to 275. I've seen them go for. So if you guys ever see a double dragon for the links at your local game store, cheap, pick it up. And uh, so I did. And uh, which is kind of funny because I. Uh, I decided to go to another game store that I kind of go to once in a while. They have decent prices, usually a little higher than eBay, but you can catch them slipping. Happen to be looking down one of their uh, aisles, and they had a bunch of uh, uh, Game Gear games and Lynx games, and at the end of the the row was um, <laughs> a box double dragon. Um, when I saw it, I was like, you got to be kidding me, man. And I was able to pick this up for, I believe, $21, I believe. Um, and it's a complete box manual and everything, which is kind of crazy. So I, I freaking bought it up, and I wasn't even going to go that day. I was actually going to pass the game store and just go home, but I was like, you know, i got some, some time to kill. So I went down to the game store, saw this, and picked it up for 20 bucks. So uh, now I have a, uh, uh, a non-sealed. -non uh, I could actually play this one. I, I love Double Dragon, I mean, especially back in the day. I mean, this is, like, I used to love this version. I know this version is a little kind of crappy, but uh, still kind of cool to play it on the links and try it out. So... Yeah, two copies of Double Dragon in the box is complete. Really, really cool. Uh, maybe I'll take one of these with me to uh, Classic Gaming Expo and see if I can use it as trade bait or if someone wants to pick that up and stuff. And uh, last but not least, uh, another guy I've been uh, doing a lot of trades with, a local guy. He's a Sony guy. And I have a bunch of loose Sony games and just odds and ends and stuff. And he wanted to do another trade and had a few more items. So... We did a trade, and I thought it was a really, really cool trade, actually, because I was trading away, you know, stuff I picked up for like a dollar here and there. Uh, first off, probably the best thing that I got from him was uh, a Dragon Force without the manual. Um, this is uh, just the back insert, the case in the game. Um, this has already, unfortunately, been... Uh, um, I already have this game complete, uh, and a buddy of mine uh, needed the back part, so we made a trade, um, and I threw in the disc as well. I mean, the disc, you could sell it for like 60 bucks, but... What I'm getting in return from him will be in my next video, uh, which I thought was freaking awesome. Um, so, next video, next turbo video, you'll see what I got from him. And yes, it is turbo related. <laughs> um, but uh, so, this is uh, on its way to him. I also got a uh, Sega Saturn 3D controller. I already have this for, uh, I have the, um, 
the knights complete uh you know set complete in box but it's nice to have a loose one and stuff so that's pretty cool and let's see here let's see also got a cop uh just case only uh earthworm gym 2 uh so if anyone needs i don't have the game so maybe i'll keep this and look for the discs if not if someone already has the discs and wants to trade or they need the case hit me up uh, let's see here, and uh, same thing for Panzer Dragoon Zwei, uh, it's just a case only, no, no game, it's just missing the game, so if anyone out there has the game wants to trade, or if they need the case and game and want to trade for it, then hit me up as well. And also a loose copy of Shinobi Legions, which is a game that goes for about 30 to 45 bucks if you have it complete, so uh, I just got to find the case for it, and uh, which I should be able to find, I've seen them here before, but uh, yeah, so Shinobi Legions, loose. Um, and he threw in this little case with a few games inside. Uh, looks like it came with uh, Command and Conquer 1 and 2. Uh, a copy of Sewer Shark for the Sega CD. A uh, Robotica for the Saturn. And a few loose Xbox and PS2 games that probably aren't even worth mentioning actually. So, And uh, last but not least, I already have one of these loose. Um, but he did toss in the uh, Virtua Stick for the Saturn. Uh, so um, I already have one loose, so I'll definitely uh, be keeping this one. It's actually in really good shape. It's like it's never been used, so it's kind of new. Um, so maybe I can, you know, play some fighter games and stuff, uh, Marvel or something. Um, so that's kind of cool to pick up as well. And it's the box is in pretty nice shape. It's not not damaged or anything. So I think that's about it. And uh, so, like I said, I haven't just been picking up Turbo stuff lately. I've been picking up other stuff here and there as well. Um, Want to remind everybody out there. Uh, Classic Gaming Expo is only two months away. Uh, definitely try to check it out. I think it's the funner of the conventions because it's not just the convention. I mean, you walk out of the convention and I mean you're in freaking Vegas. You know, you can party. It's not like the other conventions where you know outside of the convention you're in a shit town with nothing to do. I mean, you're in Vegas. A bunch of us are going to be there. Once again, uh, we do have a table that we uh, purchased and um, a bunch of us pitched in. Or and then uh, we're going to be selling some stuff. So if you guys are looking for anything, let me know. Anything I could bring anything. You know that I'm willing to trade down to the show. I definitely am gonna bring a ton of turbo stuff. So if you guys are looking for turbo stuff, uh, go to the Classic Gaming Expo in Vegas. It's at the Riviera Hotel, and um, like I said, it's like right now it's 29 bucks for all three days. So uh, we're gonna be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, partying it up, drinking it up. So if you want to hang out, meet up. Meet up will be at our table. I'll you know just hit me up. Uh, go to my Facebook and uh, let me know uh, what times and all that. And we'll, we're all gonna be there, just boozing, gaming. Uh, probably be jumping from room to room just having little tournaments and stuff like that might have some tournaments at the booth as well so it's gonna be a lot of fun like I said it's, it's Vegas man it's a it's a big boy show you know um, uh, don't let your wife tell you you can't go if you're married or your girlfriend either <laughs> or do like I am just bring your girlfriend with you so and then let her just go gamble and uh, you know drink away um, but yeah we're gonna be there so hope to see you guys there hit me up and hopefully you guys are finding some amazing stuff I've been seeing on the Facebook groups people posting up some awesome pickups uh, I wish we could do that here, um, but in LA it's a little tougher. You know, houses are more spread apart. There's tons of houses. You know, one yard sale is figured in 20 miles from the other, um, so it's a little, a little, a little hard to do. And it's scorching hot here right now. now. If you guys hear humming in the background, it's my AC on full blast. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. That's pretty much about it. Uh, the next video will be an all turbo pickups video. So I've got some awesome stuff coming up. Some a lot of just you know pretty pretty neat neat things. So definitely tune in. Uh, make sure to subscribe, thumbs up, it really helps the channel out, uh, helps kind of keep everything going and stuff. And um, like I said, uh, hopefully you guys are uh, kicking ass out there, uh, one step ahead of the resellers and the sharks out there. And uh, you guys take care, and uh, once again, this is Hyfix signing out. Take care guys, ladies.